In this video, we're going to be going over every death in Chainsaw Man in order. So if you haven't read or watched Chainsaw Man, this is your final chance to avoid any and all spoilers ahead. In the opening pages of Chainsaw Man, we see Denji alongside with Pochita hide behind a wall and slice the poor tomato devil immediately in half to get paid. Our second death comes in surprisingly for our main protagonist Denji and Pochita. Denji goes to an abandoned warehouse with the old man Yakuza who hired him as a devil hunter. He backstabs and betrays Denji when it's revealed the Yakuza formed a contract with the zombie devil. The zombie devil then orders his zombies to kill Denji and Pochita, after which they are sliced to pieces and thrown in a dumpster. Inside the dumpster, some of Denji's blood gets into Pochita, which heals Denji and turns into his heart. The two form a contract becoming Chainsaw Man. Taking revenge on the zombie devil, Chainsaw Man takes out the entire horde of zombies as a poor zombie devil looks on in horror as Denji leaps into the air and attacks the zombie devil, gouging out its eyeball and slicing its body in half. The next day, on a mission to help a father rescue his daughter from a devil, Denji runs into the woods where he encounters the little girl with the devil. She tells Denji that the devil actually saved her from her father who was beating her. Denji lowers his guard as the muscle devil seizes the opportunity to attack Denji. The muscle devil twists and destroys Denji's right arm, but Denji pulls the cord on his chest with his mouth and turns into Chainsaw Man, saying that he can now kill him without feeling bad and proceeds chomping the muscle devil to pieces. In the Bat Devil arc, Power offers Denji a deal to touch her boobs in exchange for saving her cat. However, she lures Denji into a trap, offering him to the Bat Devil instead. Here, the Bat Devil betrays power and eats both her and her pet cat Meowy. The Bat Devil squeezes Denji, yet he pulls his cord and turns into Chainsaw Man and starts cutting the Devil's arms. The two crash through a building and duke it out for a while as the Bat Devil uses a sonar ability that sends Denji flying back. Yet, Denji comes out of the rubble of the building, taking out his chainsaws once more and begins to slash up the Bat Devil, cutting him to smithereens. In the aftermath of Denji saving power and Meowie from the Bat Devil, he starts celebrating, but is attacked by a Leech Devil and has his arm cut off. The Leech Devil and Denji prepare to battle, but due to a lack of blood, isn't able to transform into Chainsaw Man. Denji manages to stab the Leech Devil with his tiny chainsaw, but gets impaled through the stomach. At this point, Denji is about to be eaten until Aki arrives and summons the Fox Devil, which bites the Leech Devil in half. In the Eternity Devil arc, Denji alongside several other hunters such as Aki, Power, and Himeno are instructed to hunt a powerful devil in Hotel Marin. Here, they encounter the Eternity Devil. Demanding for Denji's heart in exchange to let the rest of the hunters escape, the group betrays one another. After Aki gets stabbed, a frustrated Denji accepts his fate of being eaten but informs the group he plans on fighting back. Denji leaps into the mouth of the Eternity Devil. Thinking he has successfully devoured him, Denji explodes out of its mouth in his chainsaw form. The Eternity Devil bites into Denji, resulting in Denji losing enough blood to retract his chainsaw arms. Yet, Denji bites the devil back, regaining his chainsaws. He suddenly realizes that by drinking the blood of the Eternity Devil, he can quickly recover his wounds and stamina, meaning he can continue attacking indefinitely. Three days later, the Eternity Devil reveals its heart to Denji, begging him to kill it and end and its suffering. Following the events of the Eternity Devil arc, Denji, Himeno, Aki, and Power all eat. Katana Man sits nearby, revealing to be the grandson of the old man who was possessed by the zombie devil. Seeking revenge, he pulls out a gun, shooting Denji in the head before shooting Himeno in the chest. Aki and Katana Man begin to battle. Aki defeats Katana Man, but gets revived by Akane, who has a contract with the Snake Devil. Katana Man then lunges forward at Aki, as his chest is slashed open by the Katanas falling to the floor. As Akane orders Katana Man to finish Aki off, Himeno attempts to summon her ghost devil, but it refuses to come out until Himeno offers her entire body to the ghost devil. The ghost devil smiles as its true giant form is revealed. The ghost devil attacks Katana Man. With each attack, Himeno loses more of her body. Before she can finish Katana Man off for good, Akane summons her snake devil, swallowing the ghost devil, leaving only Himeno's clothes behind. In the climax of the Katana Man arc, Denji and Katana Man battle in a moving train. Denji protects an injured woman lying on the floor as Katana Man launches an attack, causing Denji to lose an arm. Katana Man strikes again, slicing off Denji's other arm. Demanding an apology from Denji for killing his grandfather, Katana Man clashes with Denji a third time, but this time, Denji surprises Katana Man with a surprise hidden chainsaw formed out of his leg, resulting in Katana Man being split vertically before his body completely falls apart. 
After the defeat of Katana Man, Akane gets captured in question as to why she and her men wanted Denji's heart. Makma reveals, however, that her own snake devil killed Akane, likely as a part of their contract to not reveal the truth. In the Bomb Girl arc, we see Denji and Beam team up against Reze and the Typhoon Devil in arguably the craziest battle within all of Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man mounts on Beam like a horse Sharknado style and is able to easily slice the Typhoon Devil to shreds. Following the death of the Typhoon Devil, Reze battles against Denji on a rooftop. Reze flicks a small blast at Denji, blasting his arm, but as the smoke clears, it is revealed that Denji managed to keep the arm attached to his torso, where he then flings his chains at Reze, wrapping her entire body with his and leaps into the ocean. Both awaken nearby a beach where Denji tells her he hopes to see her again at the cafe she works at. However, while Denji is hopefully waiting, Reze is intercepted by Makima. With the assist of the Angel Devil, he impales her with the spear as Reze slowly bleeds out as Makima holds her. During the International Assassin's arc, Devil Hunters Tendo, Karus, and Subaru all take a smoke break. As they drive to meet up with the main group that was tasked to protect Denji from International Assassins, a set of road spikes are thrown in front of a vehicle. In the wreckage, three American brothers tasked to kill Chainsaw Man all shoot the outside car, leaving the three hunters dead. To add insult to injury, Sato, one of the American assassins, changes his face to match Karusa's. Moments later, Sato drives over to meet up with the main devil hunter group. Still disguised as Karus, he introduces himself to Denji and the two shake hands. Only for power to suddenly crash Kobeni's car, hitting both Denji and Sato, killing Sato in the process. With Sato's face exposed, two civilians are shown to be watching the scene in terror. As they move to an alleyway, it's revealed they were Joey and Aldo, the last remaining American assassins in disguise. Aldo vomits as Joey attempts to collect himself. However, he is suddenly pulled around a corner and swiftly executed by Yoshida. Aldo quickly redisguises himself as Yoshida stares him down and leaves before muttering, a pro wouldn't puke. Moving things over to hell. Yes, you heard that correctly. Denji and everyone pursuing his heart are summoned to hell. Being watched by a powerful devil, a primal devil, meaning a devil who has never died, suddenly appears. In an instant, the darkness devil moves past the entire group, having detached all of their arms from their bodies. Tolka, now fully under Santa Claus control, offers the darkness devil Denji's heart in return for the power to kill Makima. After receiving a fragment of the darkness devil's flesh, the darkness devil picks up Tolka and decapitates him. Moments later, a public safety devil hunter attempts to utilize his contract with the stone devil to fight. However, the darkness devil merely grabs the stone devil and crushes it, killing Kusakabe. Next on the darkness devil kill is Best Boy Beam, aka the Shark Fiend, who uses his own blood to revive Denji, who unfortunately gets split into pieces by the Darkness Devil merely pointing his finger at him. Quan Chi, one of the strongest characters in all of Chainsaw Man and her group of harem, Pinksy and Long, fall victim to the Darkness Devil shortly after with a single strike. Powers also caught in the attack, but her and Quan Chi manage to survive, but we'll talk about those two later on. Removing his mask, the Violence Fiend attacks the Darkness Devil with a kick. However, before the kick can land, and the Darkness Devil speaks in an unknown language, resulting in the Violence Fiend body to be blasted with holes. Violence Fiend attacks once more, but is impaled by a blade suddenly summoned by the Darkness Devil. At this point, I don't even know what to tell you guys. The Spider Devil attempts to strike the Darkness Devil and to no surprise, is torn limb from limb. Spider Devil then summons Makima in Hell to face the Darkness Devil and through this summoning, she dies. Makima then battles the Darkness Devil and if you want to see who wins that battle, you can go ahead and click here. Anyway, after escaping hell and being brought back to Earth, we see Denji and Santa Claus battle against each other. After coating himself on fire using the power of light, Denji defeats Santa only for him to be decapitated by Quan Chi. Quan Chi asks the Cosmos Fiend, another one of her harems, to use her powers on Santa Claus. Within her own mind, Santa suddenly awakens, standing inside an endless library. She sees Cosmos sitting at a nearby table before explaining the extent of her powers. In a nutshell, Cosmos has the ability to grant individuals total and complete complete understanding of everything in the universe. A process so overwhelming that the user and victim is forced into a semi-conscious state, only able to process the word Halloween. As Santa Claus suddenly finds herself falling through the library, her body is shown in the real world, crumpling to dust as it mutters the words Halloween over and over. With Santa's mind stuck in the ultimate Genjutsu, Yoshida and Kashibe arrive as Quan Chi turns to fight them. However, the two put on blindfolds as Makima emerges between them holding a sword. 
sword. Quan Chi surrenders, offering Makima anything in return to not harm her last two harem, but Makima ignores her plea before decapitating all of them. In the Gun Devil arc, this next character's fate is undetermined. Basically, Angel Devil suddenly remembers his past after Makima commands Aki to accept a contract. Intending to fight Makima, he uses 10 years of life force to create a blade. However, she merely says the word down, and Angel Devil crumples to the floor. She kneels next to him, ordering him to give his all to her. Possessed by the power of mental control, Angel Devil agrees to being Makima's dog and obey her orders. Arguably the strongest devil on earth, the President of the United States makes a contract with the Gun Devil by offering one year of the lifespan of all US citizens in return for killing Makima. Once summoned, thousands are shot dead as the Gun Devil targets Makima. The Gun Devil shoots Makima in the head, confirming her 29th recorded death. However, she instantly recovers as her brain matter forms a halo around her head. As Makima stands, the body of Prince, Sawatari, Aki, Angel Devil, Kuros, and Tendo are shown attached to her. Summoning the combined powers of all of their devil contracts, a sudden hole opens up in the sky above the Gun Devil as a swarm of creatures descend. Considered the saddest death within all of Chainsaw Man, Aki cries to Makima, telling her he's willing to do whatever he can in order to protect power and Denji. Here, Makima forces Aki to make a contract with her, revealing to be the control devil. Under her commands, Aki's reported to have died off screen by the hands of the gun devil as it advances towards Makima. The gun devil then possesses his corpse after being defeated by Makima and becomes the gun fiend. Within this new form, Aki returns to his home in order to ambush Denji. Within Aki's mind, he hallucinates his his battle with Denji as if he's having a snowball fight with him. The two then engage in combat which causes many surrounding buildings to be destroyed due to his lethal attacks, injuring and killing many bystanders in the process. Eventually in Aki's vision, he sees Denji crying causing him to give up, thus giving Denji an opportunity to kill him. The future devil appears and tells Aki he died in the worst possible way. The final moments of Aki's life shows him in his fantasy playing catch with his little brother. If Aki's death wasn't bad enough, Fujimoto makes Denji suffer even further when he goes to Makima's house telling her he wants to be treated as one of her dogs. Testing out Denji's loyalty, her doorbell rings revealing she had invited Power over earlier. Makima guides Denji to the door so that she can kill Power. Denji nervously opens the door and sees Power holding a cake remembering the next day was his birthday. Before either have time to react, Makima points her finger at Power, says the word bang and Power's torso is obliterated. In the final battle of Chainsaw Man, Makima and Denji battle against each other where Makima Makima eventually gains the upper hand and fully rips Pochita from Denji's chest. Telling Pochita he now belongs to her, she begins to caress Pochita as several feet behind Makima, Denji slowly stands up from amongst a pile of corpses, sneaks up on Makima, and as she notices him, takes out a chainsaw and slices her down the chest. He tells Makima he's sorry before pointing the chainsaw at her. Later on, Denji pulls a small box out of his refrigerator, with the refrigerator shown filled with various boxes tied shut. Hungry, Denji begins to cook his meal and once he prepares prepares his meal, takes several bites before noting that what he was tasting was what Makima tasted like. This was every major death to occur in Chainsaw Man, but if you want to see who the strongest devils are in Chainsaw Man, you're going to want to click on this video right here.